Hi, and welcome to M&A Ambassadors, another episode of the USP, Becoming the Ultimate Sales Professional. I'd like to start today's episode by firstly saying thank you. We have been receiving a lot of feedback and comments, and people have actually been walking up to us and talking about the M&A Ambassadors. So it's, it's heartening to hear that a lot of you are finding value from these videos, and we promise to keep being ambassadors for real estate in Dubai. But you can also drop in your comments, tell us what you would like to hear more about, and we can make some videos to address that in the future. Now back to the topic at hand. In the last two videos, we were looking at reports. Where do we find the credible reports? How do we use them and why is that important in the first place? After addressing that, we looked at some good global reports that we could use, like the Knight Frank reports, the CBRE uh, global uh, reports. We looked at the uh, UBS real estate bubble index. Today, I'd like to cover three more reports. So one of the reports, which I think is very, very professional and very credible, is the Savills report, S-A-V-I-L-L-S. -L -L you can Google that and download all their reports. Now, again, background to Savills. They've been in business for the last 168 years and they're headquartered in the UK. They have an annual revenue turnover of 2.3 billion, uh, billion euros every single year. So they're a very significantly sized company with over 700 offices across all the five continents. They're also listed on the London Stock Exchange. So in terms of credibility, Savills goes a long way in supporting the data that you can use on Dubai. Now, there are two reports in particular on Savills that would be of interest to you. One is called the Savills Prime Residential Index. And they look at the top cities in the world and they have a residential index in terms of demand, in terms of resales, rentals. So I think it's a really great report which compares some of the best cities. And Dubai comes out in flying colors in these reports. Super credible report. It actually compares the GDP, how the cities are performing, how they're attracting new people to move in. So I think this is a great report that will help convince investors that there's a great future in Dubai. The second report by Savills is the Prime Rents and Yields report. Now, this is super, super important. We already know, those of us who live here in Dubai, that the tax benefits have made Dubai extremely attractive. But how much benefit actually comes to us in relation to some of the top performing cities in the world. This is the report that will give you the data on that. Very nicely laid out, visual, good PDFs. I'm sure if you share this with clients, they will have a very positive view about Dubai. So don't miss out on the Savills reports. Now the Henley & Partner is another report I'd like to talk about. Henley & Partner as a report has become extremely popular in the last few years. They've been in business for about 25 years and they've got offices in about 40 countries. Now, what makes HNP or Henley and Partner unique is that they partner with the governments of countries worldwide to decide and develop residency-related uh, visa programs. So people can invest in property and then move with families and get long-term residencies. So all the top countries in the world, if you look at the US, if you look at uh, Europe, you look at Australia, India, Canada, uh, Asia, Tokyo, all of them are actually partnering with HNP, Henley and Partners. Uh, three reports from Henley and Partner are good ones for you to download. You can get them again if you go to their website. One is the Global Wealth Report. It talks about the wealthy people around the world, their patterns, investments, where they are planning to invest in the future, which type of cities they are targeting for their own personal growth. Great report. The second one is the Millionaire Migration Report. We know last year around 4,000 millionaires, the highest number in the world, migrated into the UAE. Now, these are millionaires who are planning a new start for the rest of their lives. Because of who they are, their money and their connections, they could choose any city in the world. It wouldn't be a problem for them. But they are choosing Dubai. And Dubai had the highest number of movements last year. We are going to be number one this year as well. So download the Millionaire Migration Report from Henley and Partner. There is also the Passport Index, the Global Passport Index, which puts the UAE passport in a very, very strong position among the top five, literally, on the planet. Now, we know that the strength of a passport is built on the strength of the city, its policies, its government, uh, its attractiveness for, few, for lifestyle, 
and building towards the future, sustainability, all of these things have influenced the strength of a passport because more and more people are aspiring to come into those cities. So strong evidence out there from Henley and partner to suggest investments and opportunities in Dubai. Recently, an announcement was made by Sheikh Mohammed himself. It was actually on uh, March 10th, 2023. This announcement came out from the media office of His Highness. The Dubai, once again, has been voted the cleanest city in the world. Third year consecutively running. This is the GPCI report, the Global Power City Index. Again, a good report, an Asia origin report, which maps cleanliness health and lifestyle in cities around the world and Dubai has been coming number one for the last three years. Great report to download because when people are concerned more about environment, eco-friendly communities, cleanliness, health and lifestyle, I think this report will confirm that Dubai is right up there among the best and leading the pack for the last three years. Now, in terms of all these reports, how do you actually use these reports? I just want to quickly touch on that. You have three types of people that you will be working with. Clients who have already bought from you or who have sold through you, existing clients. Clients who are currently in your pipeline, whom you are working on. They are being developed into the business relationship. And then you have a lot of clients with whom you've been in touch, but for whatever reason, they decided not to work with you or they did not think this was the best time to do so. You should be sending these reports to all three groups. All three groups. One, clients who are with you keep getting reassured that their investments are good. You remain relevant and visible. You have a greater opportunity of referral generation. People who are work in progress in your pipeline are also excited because you are confirming to them on a regular basis that they are making the right choices. Even the people who have said no to you for whatever reason, these people will remember you because most brokers typically will, after they have decided the client doesn't want to buy, they switch off. They will be pleasantly surprised, these buyers and sellers, when you constantly update them with reports, including the property monitor reports, on their own communities, which comes out every month. So practice using these reports. I already was in a brokerage today where two people came up to me and confirmed that when they sent this report, clients actually appreciated it and started communicating with them again. So don't lose this advantage. You will learn and grow yourself, but at the same time, you can make some amazing inroads into getting clients to work with you. Next two videos, I would like to talk about Dubai. And what's the most effective way to pitch Dubai when you are talking to overseas buyers as well as residents in Dubai? Don't miss those two episodes because I hear a lot of people talking about Dubai, but they're missing the high notes and the key points and they're talking about the most obvious things, most of which will not be the reason a person would really relocate and live in Dubai. So join us on the next episode of M&A Ambassadors and become the USP, the ultimate sales professional.